Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel alone? Imagine the freedom, the adventure, and the self-discovery that come with it. It might seem daunting at first, the thought of navigating a new city or country solo, but trust me, the rewards far outweigh any perceived risks. This isn't just about ticking off destinations on a bucket list, it's about pushing your boundaries, embracing the unknown, and discovering who you truly are when you're out there on your own. We're about to dive into 12 compelling reasons why you need to experience solo travel at least once in your life. Get ready to pack your bags and open your mind, because this is going to be an adventure. All right, let's talk about self-discovery. When you travel with other people, you're constantly compromising, right? You're considering their needs, their interests, and their energy levels. But when you're on your own, the only person you have to answer to is you. Think about it. What do you want to do? What kind of food do you want to eat? Where do you want to go? You get to be totally selfish, and that's actually a good thing for once. This is your chance to explore your own interests and your own rhythms without any external pressure. You might surprise yourself with what you discover. Maybe you're more adventurous than you thought, or maybe you find peace in quiet moments that you never knew you craved. Solo travel strips away all the layers and all the expectations and leaves you face to face with the most authentic version of yourself. It's a powerful and often transformative experience. Let's be real, traveling with other people can sometimes feel like herding cats. Everyone's got an opinion, and everyone's got their own agenda. But when you're flying solo, you're the pilot, the co-pilot, and the navigator all rolled into one. Want to spend an extra day exploring that hidden gem you stumbled upon? Go for it. Feeling spontaneous and deciding to hop on a train to a completely different city? Do it. With solo travel, the itinerary is a suggestion, a loose framework for you to color in however you please. This kind of flexibility is liberating. It allows you to truly embrace the unexpected day tours, the serendipitous encounters, and the moments that make travel so damn magical. You're not bound by anyone else's schedule or preferences, just the rhythm of your own wanderlust. And trust me, some of the best travel stories come from those unplanned adventures, those moments where you just let go and say yes to the unknown. I know what you're thinking, isn't it harder to meet people when you're traveling alone? And you know what? It's harder, harder to meet people. When you're with a group, it's easy to stay in that bubble and rely on each other for conversation and connection. But when you're alone, you're more approachable and more open to interacting with the people around you. You'll find yourself striking up conversations with locals, fellow travelers, and anyone who crosses your path. You'll be amazed by the kindness of strangers, the shared stories, and the unexpected connections that blossom when you're open to them. And these aren't just fleeting encounters, they can turn into lifelong friendships, future travel buddies, or people who expand your perspective and enrich your life in ways you never imagined. There's something incredibly empowering about navigating a new place and a new culture on your own. It's like you're facing a challenge, a test of your resourcefulness, your adaptability, and your ability to roll with the punches. Remember that time you got lost in a foreign country, couldn't speak the language, and somehow managed to find your way back to your hostel? Yeah, that's a badge of honor, my friend. Every time you step outside your comfort zone, every time you conquer a challenge, you gain a little more confidence in yourself and your abilities. You start to realize that you're capable of handling whatever life throws your way. And that, my friends, is a feeling that stays with you long after you've unpacked your bags. Let's be real, personal growth doesn't always happen in the most comfortable of circumstances. Sometimes, it's those moments of discomfort, those challenges that push you to your limits, that force you to evolve. Solo travel is like a crash course in personal growth. You're constantly learning, adapting, and problem-solving on the fly. You're forced to confront your fears and insecurities and come out the other side stronger and more resilient. It's like this, imagine a plant that's always kept in a greenhouse, shielded from the elements. It might look pretty, but it's not very strong. But a plant that's weathered storms has had to fight for its survival. That plant is a warrior. Solo travel is your chance to be that warrior, to expose yourself to the elements, and to embrace the challenges that help you grow into the best version of yourself. This one's pretty straightforward, but oh so sweet. Freedom. The freedom to do whatever you want, 
whenever you want, without having to answer to anyone. Want to spend the entire day wandering through a museum, soaking up art and history? Go for it. Feel like grabbing a snack and people watching in a bustling plaza? Be my guest. The beauty of solo travel is that you're not beholden to anyone else's desires but your own. It's like you're finally unshackled from the expectations, the routines, and the shoulds and should nots that can sometimes weigh us down in our everyday lives. You're free to explore, to wander, to simply be present in the moment without any distractions. And that, my friends, is a precious and liberating feeling. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room money. Yes, travel can be expensive, but solo travel can actually be more budget-friendly if you play your cards right. Think about it, you're only paying for one. One plane ticket, one hostel bed, and one museum entrance fee. Plus, you're more likely to take advantage of budget-friendly options like street food, public transportation, and free activities when you're on your own. You're not trying to keep up with anyone else's spending habits, you're not feeling pressured to splurge on things you don't really want. You're free to set your own budget and stick to it, which means you can travel longer, further, and experience more without breaking the bank. Ever noticed how easy it is to get distracted when you're traveling with other people? You're chatting, you're laughing, and you're busy capturing the perfect group selfie. And while those are all great things, they can sometimes take away from the experience of simply being present in the moment. When you're traveling solo, you're more attuned to your surroundings and more likely to notice the small details and subtle nuances that might otherwise pass you by. You're not trying to keep up with a conversation, and you're not worried about capturing the perfect Instagram shot. You're free to observe, to listen, and to truly immerse yourself in the sights, sounds, and smells of your surroundings. It's like you're seeing the world through a fresh set of eyes, with a heightened sense of awareness and appreciation. When you're traveling solo, you're more likely to attract unique and unexpected experiences. People are more likely to approach you, to strike up conversations, or to invite you to join them for a meal or an adventure. You might find yourself sharing stories with a local family over a home-cooked meal, learning a traditional dance from street performers, or getting a behind-the-scenes tour of a hidden gem from a fellow traveler. These are the kinds of experiences that you can't plan for and that you can't find in any guidebook. They're the moments that make solo travel so special, so unpredictable, and so damn memorable. There's something incredibly empowering about realizing that you can rely on yourself and that you can navigate the world on your own two feet. Solo travel fosters a sense of independence, a belief in your own abilities that extends far beyond the realm of travel. It's like you're proving to yourself, time and time again, that you're capable of handling whatever life throws your way. You don't need anyone to hold your hand, to make decisions for you, or to tell you what to do. You're calling the shots, you're in the driver's seat, and that's a powerful feeling. In our fast-paced, hyper-connected world, it's easy to get caught up in the noise, the distractions, and the constant barrage of information. Solo travel offers a chance to unplug, to disconnect from the digital world, and to reconnect with yourself. Without the distractions of social media, emails, and text messages, you're free to be present in the moment and savor the simple pleasures of travel. You might find yourself journaling, meditating, or simply enjoying the peace and quiet of your own company. When you add it all up, solo travel is an incredibly empowering experience. It's a chance to challenge yourself, to discover your strengths, to embrace your independence, and to create memories that will last a lifetime. Yes, it can be daunting at times, but the rewards far outweigh the risks. So, what are you waiting for? Pack your bags, book that ticket, and get ready to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. So there you have it, 12 reasons why you owe it to yourself to experience solo travel at least once. It's a journey of self-discovery, of pushing boundaries, of embracing the unknown, and of emerging as a stronger, more confident version of yourself. Remember, travel is not just about the destination. It's about the experiences you collect, the lessons you learn, and the memories you make along the way. And sometimes, the most transformative journeys are the ones we take on our own. So, are you ready to embark on a solo adventure? What's stopping you? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's start a conversation about the joys of solo travel.